everyone I'm back from my super quick one week trip to the States and I'm excited to share with you today the first of my purchases from my Europe trip for those of you who've watched my bag collection review video you'll know that one of my wish list items was a metallic handbag even though the silver diorama bag was extremely popular at the time I've always found myself drawn to instead the Bulgari Serpenti series so today I'm excited to share with you my dream first ever metallic bag this is the breathtaking Bulgari Serpenti forever clutch in antique bronze brushed metallic calf leather. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I love injecting gold into my outfits, whether it's by my jewelry or my heels. So I'm really excited to have a matching gold handbag to complete the look. If you're contemplating Bulgari handbags, especially their Serpenti series, I do hope you find today's video useful and interesting. I was hoping to dissect this bag under seven topics. Brand history, design features, size variations, quality, accessories, my purchase story, and of course my verdict. For those of you who've watched my designer jewelry collection review video, you'll know that this is my second piece from Bulgari, as I also own their B01 bangle watch in stainless steel with white dial. I've always loved that watch for its intricacy, femininity, and bold aesthetic. So I'm excited to pursue those same qualities in a stunning Bulgari handbag. Finally, a huge thank you to my amazing subscribers. I love making these videos for you, so let me know what you think. Also today I'm filming with torrential rain outside, so I do apologize if you hear the constant hum or rain in the background. Let's get into it. This year, Bulgari turns 135, and even though they originated in fine jewelry, Bulgari expanded to luxury watches in the 1970s, sunglasses, leather, and perfumes, plus other accessories in the 1990s, and even hotels in the 2000s, as Bulgari hotels opened in Milan, Bali, London, etc. In their aggressive international growth and market diversification, it was reported that Bulgari grew by 150% in only six years. So it's no wonder they caught the eye of LVMH, the world's leading luxury conglomerate, who in 2011 paid the largest ever offer for an acquisition, $6 billion, to acquire the family owned business. Taking a step back from all the commercial success, Bulgaria's origins are simple and inspiring. The first store opened in Rome in 1884 after a Greek immigrant fled to Italy to escape. Turkish Greek conflicts back home. Trained as a silversmith, Satirius Volgaris evolved from conventional silver jewelry when he began to embrace his love for multicolored jewels. Satirius named his label Bulgari, which is the phonetic Italian conversion of his Greek surname. And later in 1934, he updated the logo with a V instead of the U to not only pay homage to his original Greek family name, but also to reference ancient Rome through use of the classic Latin alphabet. Literally, Bulgari means Bulgarians, people descended from Bulgaria. Inspired by their Greek and Roman roots alongside the Italian Renaissance and Art Deco periods, Bulgari established very early on a reputation for breaking away from the French jewelry convention that was popular at the time. Instead of diamond center stones, Bulgari embraced large jewels, selecting them according to their color rather than their inherent value, and designed pieces in unusual color combinations. Bulgari rejected the French style of faceting gems by reviving the cabochon cut as its trademark look. Polishing gems in a rounded fashion, they appeared more voluminous and injected a sense of drama and contrast into their jewelry designs. Bulgari flourished in post-World War II prosperity as Italy became the design center for Europe and Rome became known as the Hollywood on the Tiber, attracting Italian nobility and American socialites. Instantly recognizable for their rainbow colors and avant-garde materials, Bulgari became a favorite with leading fashionistas like Elizabeth Taylor, Audrey Hepburn, and the Princess of Monaco. 
By the 1960s, Bulgari had cemented its reputation for storytelling by embracing the snake motif. With its curves suggesting sensuality and elegance, and the snake itself symbolizing wisdom, life and eternity, Bulgari's Serpenti collection can be appreciated across cultures. Committed to the highest craftsmanship and design excellence, Bulgari's spectacular history is also shaped by moments of humanity and compassion. In World War II, when Bulgari was still family owned, the owner of the company and his wife hid three Jewish strangers in their home to resist the Nazi persecution in Rome. And as a result, in 2003, they were recognized in Jerusalem as righteous among the nations. In 2014, for their 130th birthday, Bulgari donated 1.5 million euros to the city of Rome to restore the Spanish steps, a shared heritage loved by all and also only a short distance from their flagship store, which opened in 1905 and still operates in that exact location today. The Bulgari Serpenti bag first debuted in 2012 and was inspired by the wraparound Serpenti watch. Depending on the bag design, the snake eyes are malachite or jade, and there are different color combinations in shine or matte enamel. Calf skin is the default leather, with exotic options available as snake skin, stingray, and lizard. Seasonal collections have also featured quilted leather and additional embellishments such as woven chains or studs as seen in the 2017 Nicholas Kirkwood collaboration. I believe all luxury bag collectors have certain design characteristics that they're drawn to and this drives how they shape their collection. For me personally, the two design factors which I love and actively look for are a structured bag and bold hardware. I adore statement hardware because it creates beauty from function. A simple clasp which you need to open close your bag instead is transformed into a central design focus, contrasting against the leather or canvas backdrop. From that perspective, there was no way that I could resist the Bulgari Serpenti hardware clasp. I love the vibrant colours, 3D form and precise craftsmanship. And it feels extremely exciting to proudly wear the brand's historic motif. My second favourite part about the Bulgari Serpenti series is the extremely shiny, well-made brass strap. Also known as a snake chain, the intricate geometric pattern is evocative of a snake's body, and while it may look delicate, there's a lovely solid weight about it that feels reliable. The chain blurs the line between bag, hardware and chunky jewellery, so you feel like you're wearing a piece from Bulgari's jewellery line instead. Plus, as you know me, I love style and flexibility, so it's another major win that the chain is detachable, allowing you to seamlessly transition from handheld clutch to wallet on chain in an instant. Personally, I find the handheld look more dramatic, more sculptural, while off the shoulder, the delicate feminine side starts to come through, probably because of the dainty chains. Returning to the theme of creating beauty from function, I love the way in which these geometric lines have been created from the way in which the leather has been cut and layered. It appears that the bag exterior is comprised of six separate cuts of leather, and I believe this composition is evocative of snake scales, again celebrating the brand's cultural motif. While the Serpenti bag is available in an array of colours, I always knew that gold would be the right colour for me. Bulgari deems this colour antique bronze and all hardware is called light gold. Too much gold can be tricky as it can look excessive and tacky as it suggests that you're flashing too much symbolic wealth. For that reason, I'm really glad that Bulgari has gone with this desaturated shade of gold as it's easy on the eyes and it's transformative. Sometimes appears like silver, sometimes bronze, sometimes there's a hint of warmth, depending on how much light there is and the angle at which light hits your bag. The soft gold tone is a perfect backdrop for highlighting the snake eyes, so the green pops visually. With all these indulgent colours, Bulgari has made the right decision opting for black scales on the snake closure and an all-black interior to keep the design balanced and restrained. There is one pocket on the lining, perfectly sized for hosting the complimentary pocket mirror that you receive with the bag. And I love that they've made the pocket out of the same metallic leather so that it also functions as a plaque, 
proudly displaying the Bulgari Made in Italy logo. The brush metallic calf skin is quite rigid and holds its shape really well. I love that the edges extend beyond the bag enclosure, emphasizing the bag structure as clean architectural lines. The sculptural silhouette is also practical in doubling up its feet, elevating the bag so that it can be kept clean and untouched when you leave it on a table. If any of you guessed that I would pick the clutch, I would be extremely impressed. The Bulgari Serpenti bag has been on my wish list for the past two years, but the entire time I thought I was after the size medium. It wasn't until I was in store in Moscow trying on all the different sizes that I realized the clutch was perfect for me. While the Serpenti range has expanded to include backpacks and bucket bags, when it comes to flat bags, I believe so far there are five size variations. The the smallest is the wallet pouch with detachable strap, two open and one zipped compartment and dedicated card slots. Next we have the crossbody bag with combination chain and leather strap, one open volume with a pocket on the lining and clutch which I own with the same internal organisation. Next we have the small size with detachable shoulder strap, accordion internal structure and one pocket on the lining. And without the top handle, the size small, which has the same internal organization as the crossbody bag. Finally, there's size medium with double straps, two open and one zipped compartment, and three pockets on the lining where one is zipped. At the beginning, I wanted the medium size because it's very much what I'm used to with my Gucci Dionysus small and my Chanel double flap medium. And the more you can carry, the more versatile a bag can be in keeping up with your lifestyle. However, in store with such a large gold surface, the dramatic effect felt a little bit too much and almost cheapened as a result. I do love the double snake chains as it emphasizes even more the connotations of fine jewelry, but even as an empty bag, the medium felt like it was starting to strain the delicate chains. My second preference was the size small without the top handle since I prefer an open volume and the classic flat bag aesthetic with the stunning chain. However, since it's largely square in shape, it has more of a cute persona, which feels like a different direction from the elegance and sexiness that metallic gold typically inspires. Not to mention that I don't use small leather goods, so I won't be able to fit my wallet because the width of the small is too narrow. When I first walked into the store, it was actually the proportions of the clutch which caught my eye. While the medium seemed a little bit too large, exaggerated by the monocolour and the minimal pattern, and the small seemed too cute, the exaggerated width of the clutch seemed to channel a bold, sexy, feminine silhouette. While some clutches can feel too thick in your hand, the narrow profile of the serpenty clutch is just right. The chain strap is on the shorter end, designed for carrying off your shoulder. Here you can see that crossbody is also possible. Later on, I'm going to prepare a dedicated video of what you can fit inside. But long story short, not much. The thickness of the double leather lining inside and outside, alongside the ergonomic narrow profile, means that you can only really fit your essential essentials. So this can be a major limiting factor for those of you who like flexibility and what you can carry. One of the comments online regarding the medium size was that the thin brass chains can cut into your shoulder when the bag is packed quite full. These beautiful thin chains unfortunately don't do well in terms of spreading out the pressure points of a heavy bag. Fortunately here, even if you do pack the clutch to full capacity, the weight is fine in your hand or off your shoulder thanks to the overall compact size. As much as I'm driven by my love for a structured bag with statement hardware, quality is the main factor which determines whether or not I seal the deal. At first glance, it's very easy to be smitten with the design, but I find that long term, it's level of quality and craftsmanship which really reveals the bag's inherent beauty and allows you to appreciate a piece long after it exits the fashion circles and seasonal trends. Here with the Bulgari Serpenti Clutch, I'm really impressed with the quality of materials and the neat precision of detailing. According to my essay in Sydney, this bag is handmade in Italy. The snake clasp can be appreciated like an artwork and it is beautiful to run your hands over. Here the eyes are malachite, a highly polished mineral, and this is complemented by shiny black and white enamel. 
While my other gold or palladium plated clasps have developed micro scratches or tarnishing over time from fingernail or skin contact, here my expectation with enamel is that it should be completely immune to everyday wear and tear. I'll keep you updated on how that goes. All hardware is brass underneath, but what confuses me is that the website states light gold plating, while the SA in Sydney emphasise that gold is infused throughout the chain, therefore it can't lose its shine or its colour. I guess only time and regular use will reveal who's telling the truth. Either way, the craftsmanship in the snake chain is absolutely top notch. Like the snake head, the chain is perfectly smooth, which means that there is no risk of snagging your hair or clothing fibers. So it's the perfect companion if you're wearing an extremely delicate dress, coat or sweater. I love the Bulgari engraving on both ends of the snake chain, which is extremely delicate work, alongside the logo on the back of the bag and precise engraving on the front closure. I have a lot of respect for brands which do not take shortcuts. 99% of the time, no one is going to see that since the clutch will be closed. However, they've still spent the time and money making it a refined feature piece. There is not a centimeter on this bag that is not worth showing off. There are two leather loops located discreetly inside so that the snake chain can be attached. I love how they've gone to the effort of using the same metallic calf leather and neat color match stitches for details as tiny as this. On that note, all stitching is precise and color matched, even on the tiny mirror. All leather edges are sealed neatly, and according to the Sydney essay, Bulgari seals edges 12 times, while most other luxury brands only repeat the process 6 times, so there should be significantly enhanced durability. The metallic leather feels like smooth patent leather, and the interior leather is also calfskin. Apparently, Bulgari leathers originate from Florence. I must admit that I actually have mixed feelings about the durability and nature of the metallic calf leather. On a very superficial level, I don't like how the reflective surface means that you can easily leave greasy or moist fingerprints when you handle the clutch if your skin isn't perfectly dry, which for me is all the time as I have sweaty hands. The marks are all temporary and they do fade with time, however it is unfortunate that they instantly dirty an otherwise perfect looking bag. On a more serious level, I was disappointed to discover that this type of bag pre-loved tends to develop all sorts of noticeable scratches, which are very difficult to repair. I've read from forums online about how sensitive it is to accidental fingernail scratches, and even a horror story secondhand about the metallic finish peeling. In Moscow, the essay told me very proudly that this finish is impossible to mark, and to prove his point, he actually scratched it with his fingernails. There was a visible mark straight away, but unfortunately I did not stay around long enough to be able to see if that mark then faded. I presume it does because he's been selling these bags for a long time and he was not concerned at all. However, when I was ready to buy and he took out from storage two brand new bags for me to choose from, one already had a mark on it. So I feel like that also reinforces that this finish is more fragile than what people apparently say. I will keep you updated as I continue to use this clutch, but my early impression is that smooth reflective metallic finishes will reveal everything and anything. Unlike your natural grain leather, which helps to conceal minor marks, choosing a metallic finish is like opting for patent or box leather. They are unforgiving in revealing imperfections and can exaggerate a situation as worse than what it may actually be. My Bulgari Serpenty Clutch from Moscow came with the gift bag, care booklet, two dust bags, raincoat, pocket mirror, and international authenticity card. The gift box I picked up separately from my local store in Sydney when I returned home. For those of you who watched my Gucci Dionysus bag review, you may remember that when I purchased the bag in Florence, Italy, my essay did not give me the gift box. The same thing happened in Moscow, and when I asked my essay about it, he mentioned that the box is quite large, so he felt that it would be too cumbersome for me to carry in transit. 
When I asked my essay if I could request the box from my local Sydney store, he went above and beyond. He wrote me an official letter on Bulgari stationery. He stamped and he signed it and he even gave me his business card just to make sure there would be no misunderstanding when I approached the staff in Sydney. He mentioned that this official process was what they do for their jewellery pieces. So I was so touched that he would go to those lengths for such an infusion item, a little cardboard box. The international authenticity card comes with a little note saying that it is equipped with a passive tag which carries a digital signature of authenticity and can only be read by a specialized device. This is really sophisticated and I guess it shows how a high-end jeweler brings a whole new level of security to their non-jewelry products. Bulgari gift packaging is very high quality and it's the level of luxury you would expect when you're spending several thousand dollars. You can see this in all the little details. The embossed logo on the box and gift bags, the metallic texture that almost feels like fine fabric, the golden drawstring, and of course the suede dust bag. It's like they've used the same quality dust bags they apply to fine jewellery in their luxury bag range. This is the only time I've seen a dust bag finished with rings to clearly seal the edges. They've gone to the effort of hemming the interior, which most brands don't bother with. The drawstrings are taut without a single thread out of place. One dust bag is sized for the clutch, the other for the detachable snake chains, and both fit like a glove. They're purpose made. Bulgari is the only brand I know aside from Hermes which provides complimentary raincoats. A thoughtful touch which is practical but also shows that they really care for their products long after it's sold and no longer their business. The pocket mirror is largely hardware in the same light gold tone and carries the same antique bronze metallic leather tag and black contrast to coordinate perfectly with your clutch aesthetics. It's a thoughtful feminine touch which makes you feel proud to call the bag yours. And finally, the care booklet states not to overfill the bag, keep it away from water, prolonged natural artificial light, heat, perfume, makeup, and creams as they are all chemicals in some way. There's one other reason why I decided the serpentine medium was not right for me. Having fallen for the bag two years ago, but I was busy saving up, I found myself playing an impossible game of catch up with the continuous price hikes. Once upon a time, the medium was under 3K and now it's over 4K. That's a 30% price increase in just two years. It really frustrates me to know that nothing has changed in terms of design and quality. It's simply the artificial price inflation. And I personally don't feel comfortable wasting my hard earned savings on an evil marketing ploy. My initial plan on holiday was to buy this bag in euros in Vienna, Austria. However, I was disappointed to discover that they had no Bulgari stores and I assumed that was the end of it. However, in my last holiday stop in Moscow, Russia, I was looking into the price of Celine bags for my cousin and I was pleasantly surprised to discover that they were $1,000 cheaper than the Euro price. That got me thinking about Bulgari and when I found the Bulgari store, I found that also the Russian price presented fantastic savings. This clutch was listed under 140,000 Russian rubles, which converts to under 2,900 Australian. Tax back was 11%, which meant I paid under 2,600, which if you compare this to the recommended retail price in Australia, America or Europe, I made anywhere between a 17 to 28% saving. I am really, really happy with this price, especially since I scored it in my dream color gold, which I found almost impossible to locate on the pre-loved market. So I didn't really have other economic options available. If you're interested in Bulgari, I highly recommend you try shopping in Moscow, not only because of the fantastic price, but also the superb customer service. In searching for my bag, I visited both of the Bulgari stores. Both times I was served by mail essay 
essays who were extremely kind and they did not judge me in any way. Remember when I travel, I look extremely dorky. I have my backpack on, my traveler's pouch, sports shoes, nothing designer, not even a handbag. My essay even insisted on gifting my husband and I free tickets to the Bulgari Jewelry Exhibition, even though we told him we were leaving the next morning. I was fortunate enough to be able to pass on those tickets to an Instagram friend who lives in Moscow, so I'm really glad that his kindness didn't go to waste. I'm going to insert Alexander's name so that if you do visit the Bulgari store there, I'm certain he will enhance your love for the brand alongside the privilege of joining the Bulgari family. Finally, I would like to mention that if you do undertake tax-free shopping in Russia, their policy is that you must leave attached to your item the price tag. So be careful that if you're using your luxury bag before you leave the country, don't accidentally damage or remove the price tag in any way as then you won't qualify for your money back. As my subscribers know, my bag collection is all about maximizing stylistic diversity and it has been so exciting to share so many firsts with you over the past couple of months. There was my first ever brown bag, my first ever trunk bag and now my first ever metallic handbag. Not to mention that with the detachable shoulder strap, the Bulgari Serpenti clutch can also be considered a slightly enlarged wallet on chain, which in that light means it's another Another landmark in my collection. In this day and age, I see so many brands release new bags with a very confused, very superficial design experiment. While some brands seem to have forgotten who they are, Bulgari stays true to their roots in Roman jewelry and digs deep into their identity for rich design details. From the clasp to the chain to the layers of leather, the Bulgari Serpenti celebrates the sensual and sexy snake motif inherent to their DNA. They've taken a classic silhouette and injected it with the sass of their bold jewelry and dynamic metallics, which seem to live and breathe with the light. Design-wise, it's a winning formula for timeless elegance and an effortless showstopper. Practicality-wise, we start to have problems. The thick, luxurious leathers don't leave much room for your belongings, let alone flexibility in how to pack. The hypnotic metallic sheen looks perfect until you touch it, and I presume it is not as indestructible as what the essays claim. The chain, which is so beautiful in its intricacy, may actually be too delicate to uphold its job on a larger or heavier bag. While the detachable shoulder strap is meant to help you transition from day to night, here the intricate snake clasp and the metallic finish overall makes it a bit overkill for a daytime or casual event. As a result, you have a very narrow and specific window of outfits and events where this bag is suitable. As you have to keep it safe, you have to pack very little, and you need to style dramatic metallics in a tasteful manner where it isn't excessive. So why did I still buy this bag? Having reached my fifth year of collecting designer goods and my 12th luxury bag, I have set up the vast majority of my style and so am focused instead on filling very specific gaps in my wardrobe. I do recommend the Bulgari Serpenti bag for seasoned collectors who know exactly what they need and don't mind paying a premium for a unique identity. I do not recommend this bag if you only own a few accessories which you need to stretch as far as possible across outfits and across situations. As beautiful and classic as it is, the Bulgari Serpenti bag is one reserved largely for special occasions rather than being your regular bag of choice. This is especially if you opt for bold metallics, which are not only harder to style, but also harder to care for. The challenge of getting your money's worth is intensified when you consider the second-hand market. While Bulgari is one of the leaders in fine jewelry, it is a fair distance behind the big players in the luxury bag market. As frustrating as price hikes are in Chanel or Louis Vuitton or Dior, at least you can get a fair amount of your money back or even make a profit if you decide to sell on. 
However, with Bulgari, because there's very limited demand in the pre-lop market, you won't be able to afford the same privilege of demanding a premium resale price. So be very careful to only buy the bag if you really do love it. There is no easy exit strategy. From that perspective, I do believe Bulgari Serpenti bags are overpriced, even with consideration for the near perfect quality and craftsmanship. For those of you who watch my bag collection and shoe collection review videos, you'll know that I own a number of pieces which are patent leather. They include my Alexander McQueen Rose Knuckle Duster Clutch, Louboutin Very Priv Heels, and Valentino Rockstud Heels. According to the essay in Sydney, metallic calf leather is finished in the same way as patent leather, so you need to be wary of the same care requirements. For example, you don't want to be using this bag with brand new dark denim as colour transfer can occur. Therefore, like you would with delicate box leather or delicate Chanel tweed, metallic leather is a material you must baby. This is especially considering Bulgari does not offer bag spa or repair services, so your bag can only look as good as the care you commit to. Although Bulgari does offer complimentary clean and polished services, you can take your bag in for a quick touch up. I love the proportions of the clutch, not only in terms of pragmatics because it's on the smaller end, so it's easier for me to protect and shield on the go, but the oversized width looks sexy and slightly dramatic whether it's handheld or off my shoulder. The narrow profile allows it to sit comfortably against my body or in my grip. The thick rigid leather means it always stands proud with striking sculptural form so that I don't even need to stuff the bag. Just keeping the pocket mirror and the chains inside the clutch is enough to help it hold its shape. This low maintenance storage makes the clutch a fantastic option to bring on holidays compared to other designs which can be very fussy and difficult to pack correctly. The best luxury purchases are those which extend beyond the bag itself to also include a premium shopping experience and premium gift packaging. I'm glad to say that Bulgari, at least in Moscow, offers you the full spectrum experience. Through thoughtful touches like the pocket mirror, luxurious suede purpose-made dust bags, and a raincoat, brands like Bulgari are saying thank you for choosing to buy their products. Finally, as many of you know, I've been growing my bag collection into more understated labels such as DeVoe, Globetrotter, Bulgari, because I'm keen to expand my own unique identity as a collector rather than just be another girl wearing Chanel or Louis Vuitton. From that perspective, Bulgari can offer you the classic silhouette without the overexposure and can be attractive in granting you all the rich offerings of a fine jewellery powerhouse without you paying an absolute fortune. The Bulgari Serpenti bag carries all the strengths of the Bulgari name, from its vibrant colours to evocative forms, precise detailing and rich symbolism. The Bulgari Serpenti bag garners respect from those within fashion circles and also is alluring to the general public through its overall understated elegance and clean simplicity. So everyone, that brings me to the end of my my review of the Bulgari Serpenti Forever Clutch. Thank you so much for joining me and I'm really keen to know if you're thinking of adding any of the Serpenti series to your own collection. I'm excited to say that I've actually added two pairs of gorgeous designer heels to my collection. However, next month I'm going to take a short break from luxury shopping reviews because I want to share with you some drama. It's my horror story of an eBay Lux purchase that went completely wrong and everything I would do differently to prevent myself or any of you going through that experience again. So I hope you guys have a great month and I'll see you again soon.